It's Thanksgiving time. Oh, yes, Thanksgiving time, yes. As I clarified last week, and the reason why I'm putting so much emphasis is because the freaking asshole Mr. Thanksgiving over here, he's the reason why we barely get any shows this week. Yes, uh, Heroes is uh, done for the year, apparently, even though they only have three episodes left. But anyway, yeah, they're done for the year. And, um, and, and Arrow and Flash and Shield are like, hey, let's, let's have some uh, good old uh, Thanksgiving vacation. And, and, and so that leaves only two episodes that, that were really enough to work during Thanksgiving. And those shows are uh, uh, Supergirl and uh, Gotham. Now it's probably because they're on the day of the week that's furthest away from Thanksgiving, but still, um, you have to admire their willingness to keep going instead of being lazy son of bitches like, like the other shows. Ah, uh, yes, so here we go on the Thanksgiving episode of uh, the Super Flaming Vlogs. <laughs> I tried to make that sound like a turkey because, you know, Thanksgiving. So, yes. Uh, yes. Um, so, uh, before you get freaking fat with all the Thanksgiving food, or not fat, I mean, you know, self-control, of course, uh, let's talk about the uh, two shows this week, uh, which makes it feel like this is kind of like a, a, a season premiere for me, because usually that's how the season start, is just two episodes a week, and then, and then as the episode, and then as the weeks go by, then they grow more and more, so, so this feels a little bit nostalgic for me, a little bit, so let's start with Gotham, of course, good old Gotham with all of its super villainy going on, and of course, last episode a highlight was the was the um was the bromance going on between Penguin and Riddler. It was so adorable, uh, but unfortunately, it seems like that bromance is going on the rocks. Uh, right now in this episode, it's 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 hitting some turbulence because um, Penguin is becoming that uh, is is becoming sort of like a freeloader now. He's he's mooching off of uh, Riddler now. Uh, Penguin is he's becoming that freeloader guy, and Penguin and, and and Riddler's doing his best. He's he's doing the best his best with this situation. You know what with uh you know Penguin ch still trying to get back on his feet, but you know Penguin has to respect Riddler. He has to. Respect what's well, all that Riddler's doing for him, okay? Alright, so, you know, and, and, and but, but, but it seems like that is happening. It, it, it does seem like Penguin does find his spark again to get back on his feet. And what that is, is a, a notification from a former henchman of his. Yes, just like the old times from the previous season. Yes, this big heavy set henchman. Um, now you might be thinking, wait a minute, isn't that the one who, uh, who betrayed him? No, no, that's Biff. Biff, Biff, uh, B Biff is the one who, uh, betrayed him. He, no, he's, I don't know what's going on with Biff right now. I, 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 I don't think he's dead. I think he's currently working for Gallopin. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I assume he's dead, uh, he's not dead. So, anyway, Biff is, um... Uh, sorry, not, did I say Biff? Sorry, not, not the Back to the Future villain. I, I meant Butch. Or, wait, or B B B Biff. Uh, B wait, wait, is his name Butch? I don't even know. Where he, I don't even remember anymore. All I know is that he's that big guy. No, I'm not talking about that big guy. I'm talking about a different big guy. The big guy who used to work for a penguin no matter which side he was on. It was like his little lackey. Well, not little lackey. He, he was way bigger than him. But yeah, for some reason he disappeared somewhere down the line. But no, he's back now since he's all penguins got. And he war and he comes to tell Pinkvin that Galavan has been released from jail. Yes, yes, he Galavan is uh, has uh, been released from jail because uh, the mayor who uh, was held hostage, who, who was uh, kidnapped by Galavan in a previous episode, uh, has decided to lie his ass off and blames a penguin for it. And, you know, that's okay to blame the penguin. The, pe the penguin can take it because he's the villain we deserve right now, not the one we 
want or whatever the hell. Anyway, uh, yes, but but the downside of that is uh, is that uh, Galavan is now able to do whatever the fuck he wants with the penguin now. Yes, oh god, uh, uh, yes, and this is what inspires Penguin to finally uh, get back up on his feet, to finally stop mooching on Riddler, and instead beat the shit out of Gordon and his face, trying to find where the fuck Galavan is, or whoever the hell, and also Galavan, yes, yes, so, it's been, so, so, so there was a little bit of a while where Galavan was in prison, which meant that, uh, his, uh, little sister, um, Tigress, or Tigra, I still can't remember it, um, during that time where he was in jail, she uh, was out playing around, you know, doing her own super villainy thing, and that was um, uh, stopping uh, 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 Alfred. Yes, stopping the shit out of Alfred. Well, way to go, Tigress. You you injured an elderly person. Well, he's not as elderly as he's usually depicted, but he's still like up there. He's still like fifty or something. So yeah, that's. That's, I, I, I guess that's elder age, or wh whatever the hell, but yes, but yes, um, it's not my fault that I keep talking about how little uh, Tigress does. Maybe if she actually did more, then I would have more to talk about with her, you know? Just, just let her do more, just, just, just let her spread her tiger wings, because tigers have wings, right? Uh, I, I know all about biology. So anyway, um, yes, uh, let's see, what else, what other super villainy? Well, well, we had some fake villainy going on with, uh, with, um, uh, w w with this guy who's got, like, a smile ca carved onto his face, and at first I'm like, wait a minute, is that another, uh, Red herring of the Joker. I can't. I can't. I. I, I can't. I, I. can't take any more of those. Okay. I. I just shut up. Get off the pot with your jokers. But apparently it's not because whoever the hell this guy is, he's in cahoots with uh, Bruce Wayne, and, and so he. Uh, he's a good old buddy with Bruce Wayne and and uh, Cat, uh, Kitty Cat. And, um, and so it's fake villainy, and the reason why he pretended to be a villain was to get some, uh, was to get some, uh, you know, was to, was to make, um, uh, was to make, uh, uh, Silver Saint Cloud spill the beans on, uh, on the person that Galvant knew who killed the, uh, who, who killed the Waynes, you know, uh, the Wayne parents. And she spills the beans, and it turns out that the beans uh, spelled out in their little beaniness that um, the name of the killer apparently was Malone, and his uh, first name uh, begins with an M. God damn it! Why didn't I Google this before? Okay, I got matches Malone, but wait, but 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 but, but that's a but that's a but that's an alter ego that Bruce Wayne uses in the comic books. That's are you are you supposed to tell me that Bruce Wayne killed his own parents? Oh god, that would be freaking awesome if that was true! Yay! I want that to be true now! Yeah, do it! Uh, yeah, he'll be the villain the whole time! It'll be the awesome Mim Night Shyamalan twist ever! The point is that it's not Joe Chill, so that means that either it's uh, just uh, there to stall for the inevitable of it being Joe Chill, or it's a different direction! So yes, so apparently Silver Saint Cloud uh, spilled all the beans, and uh, I, I wonder if she's all if she's been all villained out. I mean, she's been very she's been very villain, reasonably villainous, you know, what with what she's been given uh, the opportunities so, so far. So maybe she's still got some more in her, but I don't know about that. Uh, but yes, um, but what's important is that the main crux of this, uh, of this episode, the main villainy, of course, was from the cult going around with, with their hoods dressing up as monks and going around stabbing people and killing people and stabbing and killing people at the same time and also stabbing and killing themselves and whatnot. And, of course, they are all a part of this ancient cult, uh, part of, you know, uh, Galavan's uh, old-time traditions going on. Yes, and once I, and as I said last episode, of course it's no surprise that Galavan got his ass out of jail. But what's important is that these cult members aren't here just to do any normal culting. No, they're here 
to sacrifice Bruce Wayne. Yes, wait a minute, we already knew that a few episodes ago. But uh, but, but, but the difference is that here, instead of reminding us uh, that they still want to do that, they actually do it. They actually capture Bruce Wayne. Gallivant does it himself. Yes, so this is what the uh, mid-season finale will all will be all about next week. About finally, oh uh, yes, finally. I'm doing it, finally doing the deed. Yes, this is what I keep saying. All these villains have to do is just kill little boy Bruce Wayne. And that way Batman never exists and you can just keep doing your villain thing. Ah, finally you're being smart about it. Yes, oh, oh, I can't wait to see how this all gets all fucked up, this plan. Oh, yes. All right, so that was the villainy of Gotham going on there. Uh, now let's uh, move on over to uh, the next uh, show. And, of course, that's the last show also, and that is um, a Supergirl. Yes, a Supergirl. So last week I explained that uh, we originally intended uh, for a certain villain to have her vlog be this week, and we're still going to go through with that. And uh, the reason why is because uh, the Supergirl episodes were switched. And of course, knowing that now, and uh, n n now I'm going to talk about the villainy of this episode now, and of course, you know, knowing the real life parallels and whatnot, it's going to be a little tricky, isn't it? A little awkward, a little... I'll, 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 I'll try to tread lightly this week. Okay, so, um, yes, yeah, so, uh, so this episode is about a suicide bomber. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Um, uh, sh sh surely I can light this, lighten this up. Okay, so, um, well, it's... Well, the 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 the, uh, the 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 suicide bomber did it because a Maxwell Lord for, forced him to. There, 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 there. Maxwell Lord, a, a, a kooky super villain who's not in real life. Ooh, yes, uh, Maxwell Lord. Yeah. Uh, oh, this is. Uh, oh, this is gonna be really hard. Uh. Um, okay, uh, let me see if I can still tread some light, uh, lightly, okay, so the reason why, um, uh, Maxwell Lord put that guy up to it was because, um, was because he's trying to, uh, test Supergirl, yes, he's trying to test Supergirl, yes, you see, I, as I said before, I trust, you know, uh, Maxwell Lord to eventually get into the super villain -y thing, and uh, guess what, uh, I was, uh, and I guess what he is, he, uh, he, it turns out it's a lot faster than expected, he's already doing horrible ass things, just to test Supergirl, just to experiment with her, you know, uh, try to, uh, deduce things about her by how he saves, by how she, um, uh, resolves a horrible disasters and it's the disasters that he secretly um commits yes so uh, he put this guy up to it just so he could see what's how what supergirl would do testing her uh, he is so devious maxwell lord devious indeed oh uh, yes see see how i'm treading lightly now i i'm treading lightly i'm just focusing on the more super villainous aspects you know the more the less realistic parts uh, but now that I've reminded myself of the real, uh, 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 of the painfully real parts, I'm getting a little bit uncomfortable, uncomfortable again. Oh, 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 focus on Maxwell Lord, focus on Maxwell Lord. Yes, so, um, so yes, so, um, so what he deduced from this latest test of Supergirl is, um, deducing who, uh, she is. By uh, judging by, uh, you know, which specific, uh, you know, uh, by which, uh, specific, um, um, uh, by uh, putting, by uh, you, you, you see, by by putting two different uh, parts of the city in peril, uh, she, he, what he did was he ciphered that whichever one she chose to go instead of the other, that meant that one of them had someone that she personally, uh, you know, uh, is connected to, and that's what he realizes that oh, now I can deduce who the fuck you are, Supergirl, even though I'm right in front of your face. Uh, 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 yes. 
So yes, Maxwell Lord is building himself up to be a mighty fine villain. I'm not sure if he'll ever be a big bad. I mean, he has it in him, of course. You know, he's 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 got it in him to be big bad. I'm not sure if he'll be the big bad this uh, for this season, though. I think I think that honor goes to Non probably. But yes, he's he's still got the makings for it. You know, he's still he's still he's still got the makings for it, and he's proving himself with this episode. Uh, yes, and, um, uh, so, so, so anyway, uh, yes, but, uh, in, in, in any way, uh, so, so see, I think I tread as lightly as I possibly could, uh, as possibly, uh, as lightly as I possibly could, uh, villainly possible, and so anyway, uh, yes, um, uh, uh, but uh, speaking of which, you know, we still got other super villainy to talk about uh, while we're on the subject. Yes, because, um, as I said before, uh, Supergirl had to choose one of two parts of the city that were in peril to save. Uh, and the one she chose was a uh, monorail, or, uh, you know, a train. Monorail! 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 So anyway, yes, uh, I made a Simpsons reference. Reference. So anyway, yes. So and the reason why she did it is because she wanted to save Peter Pan, the son of Cat Grant. Yeah, she saved Peter Pan. Uh, but anyway, that's not that. That's not what I want to cheer for. What I want to cheer for is the fact that on the other part of the city that was in peril, a airport, um, the bomb was defused by oh, by Hank Henshaw. Yes. Now, as I said before, it's a, we already know he's evil by his glowing eyes. Okay, his glowing red eyes. We already know that. Okay, we 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 got that covered. Okay. So if you want to show us more villainy things, you're going to have to get more creative, do other things, and he does by secretly defusing the bomb with super strength, yes, now, um, now, uh, so, now, um, uh, a, a, a common theory as to what's going on right now with him is that maybe he's already Cyborg Superman. Uh, yes, maybe already he already replicated Superman's powers. But if he did, then wouldn't he use his heat vision or something? And he doesn't. Instead, he just used super strength. So, hmm, uh, I mean, uh, you know, uh, even though it's debatable whether or not he's become Superman-like, like he does in the comic books, it is, it is certain that he might be a, uh, a cyborg, since that's what he all, uh, he, since that's what's the whole thing going on with him in the comic books. But then again, apparently what go, went on in the comic books, his, um, intricate origin, his convoluted origin, but then again, whose origin isn't convoluted in those things called comic books? Uh, yes, but anyway, um... Uh, what was I saying? Uh, uh yes, uh, sorry I called comic books things. I, I respect them more than that. Uh, I also respect Ben Grimm. Uh, Ben Grimm. So anyway, um, uh, what I'm saying is in the convoluted origins uh, of, uh, in the comic books, what's go, what happened to Hank Henshaw is that first he got superpowers and then, uh, he, his mind got downloaded into a machine, and then that's when it turned into Cyborg, uh, so he replicated himself into Superman, or whatever the hell. Yes, so first he got powers, uh, then he became a Cyborg. So maybe that's what's going on here, maybe he, so either he's already a Cyborg, or he's about to become one, because he's already got the superpowers, yes, uh, Oh, so interesting. And, of course, I forgot to mention um, more activity going on with him in the next episode. Because that episode aired last week, but chronologically it takes place after this episode, so let's talk about that next. And you see what happens in this episode regarding Hank Henshaw is that it is revealed in a flashback uh, that um, th th that Dean Kane uh, is dead. Oh no, not Dean Kane! Oh, I loved Ripley's Believe It or Not. Uh, it was my favorite show from the early two thousands. Uh, also, he was in Lewis and Clark. But that's not what I know him the most for. But the, the producers know him most for that, which is why he's here. Uh, why else would he be here? Not because of that Finding Bigfoot reality show, whatever the hell that was. But anyway, uh, yes, Dean Kane has done a lot of things. 
only like three of them are notable though. But 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 anyway, uh, uh, including this show, uh, well, this one might be number four on that. So anyway, oh uh, yay, number four for Dean Kane. But anyway, yes. So yes, um, so Super Supergirl's uh, foster father, Dean Kane, uh, died in the past. As revealed by uh by uh her foster mother, played by the original Supergirl. Oh uh, yay for that type of casting. Anyway, um, yay for nostalgia casting. But anyway, uh, what I'm getting at is that somewhere between the past and the present, he died. But it's a mystery as to how exactly he died, and it's revealed in a flashback of this episode that uh, the reason why he died uh, has directly to do with Hank Henshaw, yes, because um, uh, Supergirl's uh, activities going on uh, all the time has caused, uh, uh, has, had caused Hank Sh uh, Henshaw's uh, organization to come to them, interested in them, interested in them, or, or maybe because because they have experience with Superman himself. But yes, the point is, is that they are interested in them, and they want to um, do experiments and whatnot. And and so Dean Cain sacrifices himself to Henshaw. He he offers himself to Henshaw, and so this is revealed to uh to uh to, to Supergirl and her foster sister. This information. So now they're very suspicious of Hank Henshaw. They're very suspicious of him now. So they know something is up with Hank Henshaw. They know something is up. They don't... Uh, so even though uh, Hank, Hank Henshaw was found out a little bit by the fact that he has... He, he is mysteriously connected to the death of Dean Cain. Um, in the show, it's not in real life. He, he's alive, don't worry. But anyway, so... But even though they know that, they, they don't know how super villainous he exactly is. Because even though they're aware that he's got some mysterious history with Dean Cain, they don't know about the glowing red eyes. So yes, so... So, so they are... So they are suspicious now of his villainy. You know, they are suspicious, but they're not completely aware of what's all going on and we are also not aware of either but we at least know a little bit more than they do oh yes oh yes oh first maxwell lord then hank henshaw all these villains who i thought hey give some th them some time give them some time and then they'll become super villainous no no screw that they're coming super villainous now it's happening right here right now right here right now yes oh so yes so we're going to be cut short this week because of Thanksgiving. <sighs> Which means that's it. That's all there is to talk about. So I guess, um... I, I guess that's enough to rank the villains, I guess. Okay, um... Most Badass is, um... Uh, 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 most Badass, I'd have to say, is probably uh, Hank Henshaw for, uh, you know, s uh, for gradually surprising me uh, pleasantly. And the least badass, I'd have to say, is, um... Uh, uh, least badass is probably uh, that uh, is probably the people in the hoodies uh, in the hoods uh, those monks guys because um, because guess what guys you need to do more stuff than just smile for the camera and be like uh, uh, look at me uh, 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 yeah so that's the week everybody that is the week of super villainy because uh because uh thanksgiving has taken away any other possible villainy to have thus making this week way too short Ugh. oh damn it mm. uh. oh well uh, and i don't have any plans for thanksgiving so what am i gonna do i guess i can uh check out netflix uh, but something horrible happened to me the last time I tried to check out Netflix. Who knows? Maybe I'll be a lot luckier this time. You know what? Maybe because of the season, because of the holiday season, I won't um, be almost put to near death this time. All right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go on to Netflix right now. Oh, good shot.